Hi, let me share with you the concept map paragraph, and let me warn you that this is not right by numbers. Rather, I give you this paragraph because I want you to see how it functions conceptually, how there's a clear logic embedded in the paragraph. Specifically, notice how there is one clear idea at the beginning, a claim or arguable assertion or suggestion, something that demands support. Inevitably, the writer then brings in that support, then reasons through how that support functions. Take a look. The text suggests blank, and in order to do this, the author blank uses blank. Specifically, the author blanks. For example, in the blank section of the text, the author writes blank. Later, he mentions blank. Notice that the author blanks. Instead of blank, he blanks. It's like blank. The reader is likely to blank, and as a result, the reader blanks. In the beginning of the paragraph, the writer provides the claim. In this case, the writer attaches the argument or suggestion implied by the text to a mover strategy within the text. The text suggests and the author uses. We then see that the author specifies this mover strategy and then brings in direct textual support. To be fair, he or she could paraphrase the text. Then the real work starts. Take a look at the word notice. This is where the explanation of the, or the reasoning begins. In this example, we can see that the writer will reason using compare and contrast, comparing something with the text to an example or hypothetical outside of it. Look at the word instead. Then we see that the writer provides another outside example or an analogy. Look at the, look at the language of it's like. The reader Sorry. Finally, we see that the writer draws a conclusion as a result. And the conclusion is invariably, invariably the very argument or suggestion that was introduced in the beginning. In other words, the argument here matches the argument here. We have a very clear little reasoning packet. Hope that helps.